I was so surprised one day because I was on TikTok, I was scrolling through, and then there's this video of a girl, and I was like, <laughs> she looks so familiar. <laughs> and then when I looked at the name, I was like, it was Claudette. And I was like, Claudette? From high school? So <laughs> my For You page showed me, showed me like your video, and I was just like, what? I'm Trey Ramulia, and this is the White Stripe Podcast. All right, today I am joined by somebody who I've known, um, like we met seven years ago, I, I think. Yeah. So we knew each other from high school, and it's been years since we've talked. Um, so long, so long. It's been so long, but the reason why I got so interested in inviting her over here is because she kind of blossomed out of nowhere, where I had no idea that she wanted to make videos and all of that stuff. Um, when when she was in high school, I'll get a bit I'll get a bit into it later. But when she was in high school, she was more quiet um, <laughs> than she is now. So I was like really surprised by the transition, which I want to ask about. Is this your first podcast? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm it, shy, but are, are you are you still shy? Yes. Okay. Extremely. You're still extremely shy. Um, cause yeah. that's, that's the club that I kind of remember from high school mm. when you were kind of like, um, you were just in doing your own thing with your own friends and then you weren't really, yeah. um, you know what I mean? Like you Not weren't very really, outgoing. You, weren't, you weren't outgoing or loud, um, in class or mm. anything like that. You were kind of just chill, like there in your, doing, in your own world with your own friends, doing your own thing. Um, I was so surprised one day because I think this was like maybe middle of this year or mm -hmm. a bit later i was on tiktok i was scrolling through and then there's this video of a girl and i was like <laughs> she looks so familiar <laughs> yeah and then you were doing like a, i'm not sure if it's like a room thing or some, something like that right um mm -hmm. so you're doing something like that and i was like this girl's so familiar and then when i looked at the name it was like it was claudette and i was like claudette from high school so my my for you page showed me showed me like your video and I was just like what and then I I clicked your I clicked your profile and I was like yeah. what and at at that point I don't know how many followers you had but it was like what three four hundred thousand maybe ish mm, yeah most likely um, if it was in the middle yeah and then I was just like oh she that's cool um. <laughs> And then I saw more, more of your stuff as time went on. And then eventually I was like, you know what? I have to get her on here. Um, I have to ask her what happened and how that happened. Uh, when did you start making videos? Okay, so there's like a lot of story behind it. Okay. I think everyone was against TikTok um, during like the first few quarters of pandemic last yeah, year. Yeah, I agree. So everyone's like, oh my God, that's so lame. It's another Vine video, blah, blah, blah. And like during that pandemic, I was right after college because my course, I didn't really like my course. Mm -hmm. It was um, applied mathematics. Yeah, it's not. Where did you study? It's not. I, I graduated from USD. USD, okay. Yeah, so after college, I didn't feel like working yet. So I took <laughs> like a year off. Okay. You know, because I don't, I don't feel, I don't see myself in an office setting. I don't see myself being on the computer, right. paperwork, all of that. It's not me. I can yeah. do it, but I wouldn't be happy with it. Right, right, right. So I took a year off and I was about to look for, you know, work, but then pandemic happened. So we were mm. all in lockdown. Yeah. And then during the lockdown, obviously there would be, that's when like the baking thing happened, right? Like everyone started to oh, bake, yes, everyone yes, yes. started to sell. Yeah. This was like so April-ish. Yeah, I did yeah. that for a while. And I kind of got bored with it. <laughs> and then my, my my younger cousin, like she's like she's 10 years younger than me. Uh -huh. And she does TikTok. Jane. I was like, oh my God, that's so lame. I'll do that. And she's right. like, you should try it. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it. And then the first video was like, because during that period of me trying out TikTok, I was like buying a lot of things online. So okay. I was like, why not yeah. Why not do a haul video? Because people right. like watching that. And TikTok is just like, what, 60 seconds, 30 seconds per video. Yeah. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't take up too much of my time. And you can edit on the app as well. Mm. So I did that. And 
not a lot of people were watching. I didn't really mind because it wasn't really my priority during that time. Right. And then, so while I was doing that, um, we were in the process of moving houses. And I was moving all of my clothes. So there was this, there was this day I was fixing all my clothes in the closet. Okay. And I was like to myself, hmm, why not? do this trend i don't i haven't seen anyone do, uh, like do this trend mm-hmm. since i have enough clothes to make them count from like one to 100 <laughs> why not do that okay so i did it and like it got like around twenty thousand views mm. with like 100 comments and at this so point, that wasn't bad like, at this point you don't have that many followers yet so it's like pretty good yeah i think i was at um five thousand followers okay, during okay. that time okay so not a lot of people really noticed that video. So I'm like, mm. okay, whatever. So I chose like a random comment, just a random comment. And then I did that. So I did the usual thing. That was my very, very first um, creating an outfit series with mm. numbers, random numbers. Right, right. Um, yeah, I chose a random number. Then I did that video. Then I was like, oh, you think this is good? I asked my cousin, my little cousin now. I asked, her, I asked her for TikTok <laughs> and then yeah. I was like, you think this is good? She's like, yeah, that's good. You go post it. I, and then I was like, I feel like not a lot of people would watch it because it's like a lot of content, blah, blah. Anyway, mm. I posted it. And during that time I was posting, I was baking as well. Okay. So I was baking. And then I would check my phone from time to time. And then when I, the moment I checked my phone after like a few like 30 minutes or 45 minutes it was blowing up like it oh. it was like it blew up so much yeah and i was like what's happening <laughs> and i was like telling to my cousin oh dude it's like it's getting like like 2000 views and it's only been like what 5 minutes mm. and i'm like omg and then from 5000 i think i gained like 30000 followers in 2 days wow okay so that was like, oh my god! So I kept doing that um, series. Right. I asked people to uh, comment random numbers, all of that, and like I think I started from November last year. By December, oh no, no, not November, like like October, October last year, and from October to December, I gained a hundred k followers. So wow, that's like three yeah, it, yeah. It was very short. And then, obviously, who would reach 100K in that like short amount of time? Yeah. And I was like, oh, people really like it. So mm. I did more of those. And then from, from creating that series, it branched, it branched out to like outfit ideas. Mm-hmm. And then um, makeup, skincare. Right. So, my um, account is very like I wouldn't say it was. It's very like what's the word? Uh, flexible in a way, because usually if you're fashion, it's just fashion. Right. Yeah. But I can do like beauty and skincare and like random videos. Mm-hmm. So people enjoyed it, and then that's how I got to here. <laughs> But I'm basically still su- it started I'm, I'm, from that. Like I'm still so surprised, honestly. Like, did did you enjoy the 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 buzz when it started? Yeah, because who wouldn't be like surprised if like <laughs> gaining that much in like yeah. a short amount of time? Like, it's very hard to hit like that. Like, um, the because the TikTok algorithm, it's very hard to like. Yeah. Um, oh, what do you call it? Like anticipate. Like you wouldn't know which videos would really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. You're right unlike youtube i guess but anyway so from there it's i got like the go signal to keep making those videos and like there's nothing wrong with like i mean i'm still shy okay i'm still very (laughs) shy so behind the camera it's like no one's watching so it's okay right and then when when people when i start posting something to cringe at myself because i I don't know i'm like that <clears throat> and then I did notice, like, there are other people asking me, I mean, in the comment section, asking, like, uh, like, they want to know me. Because mm. most of my videos, they're, like, 
fashion. I don't have a video of like talking about myself and all of right. that. Right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they would they would they would ask me, "Where are you from? Like, are you from the Philippines?" Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. Have you ever gone thrifting? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, I would ask, I would answer there, and when I answered some of their videos, oh, uh, their questions. Sorry, they actually liked me talking about my. Myself. Yeah. Exactly. You so, you'd be honestly really surprised. Yeah, I mean, because that's what I said. Like, I thought like they would only see, I mean, they would only enjoy watching fashion, right? Yeah. But they also enjoy like more on my personal life. Mm-hmm. So I would answer those questions from time to time, and then they would actually get like a lot of views and interaction. Right. That's crazy. So, yeah. Honestly, like, what? part of your life like your personal life are they most interested in listening to like, what what blows about up? my parents <laughs> oh why, why why your parents uh no like they they would ask me who are my parents if i'm related to like blah 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 oh okay like what's their job all of that i, I wouldn't i don't like disclosing that information because mm. they're very my parents are private it's like very okay. surprising yeah, how, how they're like letting me do this because they're very <laughs> private people yeah yeah yeah. but they see me like striving and like you know happy which is what's important right yeah. i'm obviously earning as well but yeah yeah, yeah. so, is, is so it full time for you now like you're not you don't have any other job mm, yes like i'm actually um i'm i'm pursuing the influencer life right yeah, yeah, so, yeah. To, to be no, honest in high I get school it. i get it Good. In high school, it was low key my dream. It was. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. It was very low key, but I wouldn't really share with anyone. Yeah. I mean, like, and honestly, it, to say it, to be an influencer, it's you know, people are like, "What? Like, really?" Um, and they, they think it's pathetic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't like share it with you know high school people, um, college people, like my friends in college. Um, they would always be like. Hey, you should do this. You should blah blah blah. And I'm like, what? No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Because I kind of removed the influencer life from my mm. mind. Yeah, you're kind of just then, like, never mind. Not gonna work. Yeah, out. like yeah. it's never gonna. It's like it's so hard to be an influencer in the Philippines. Most oh yeah, especially. for sure, for sure. Yeah. So sorry, my dog. It's okay. So there, like. I I didn't know that I would be actually good at this. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, yeah. And then it, it would obviously change my life since, you know, I kind of achieved the low-key dream that yeah, I kind of, sure. you know, pushed aside. So, yeah. So, when it comes to brand deals and stuff like that, what is it like when you got your first one? How do you feel? Oh my god, that was so surreal since number one, it was international. Mm. Okay. So I was like, OMG, what someone company wants is this? to or like, work with What's the general kind of company? It was like a gym clothing brand. Oh, cool. Okay, go on. So they reached out to me and I was like, is this legit? Mm. Like, what? <laughs> and then I kind of gave them the information and all of that. And then I got I got sent their clothes and I really liked it. Mm. And then I made a video. Then for a while, like after that, I didn't really get much brand deals. Like it took a long time because mm-hmm. I don't normally reach out to brands that I want to work with. Uh-huh, like yeah, I kind of yeah. just, you know, manifest it. Yeah, like, you, you oh, one day I want to work with this brand. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, there's nothing bad with like reaching out to brands you want to work with because mm. you also like, you know, put your foot forward. One foot in. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Why did you want to become a, an influencer? Or like, why was that the life you you were dreaming for? Oh, that's a good question. Um, uh, when I would watch uh, videos, specifically like makeup videos, I Wait, would see, That's what like, you would consume. 
What do you mean? I mean, that's what the videos that you like to watch yourself. Yeah, like okay. I I was learning makeup at the time, mm. so it was like the beauty makeup and everything. So I would see like people, you know, getting PR and like collabing with other brands, yeah. and I was like, that would be like super fun. Mm-hmm. And then I I wanted to be that in a sense, but I obviously knew I couldn't be that because mm. I don't have the following like right, yeah. what college my instagram was like 200 300 no, and exactly. I, I don't like, even like, post good pics like i, I remember because like even when we were when we were like in college it's not like you acted like you were fam- like, you know because some people do that some people they like they tr- they tried to be an influencer before they have followers yeah you, you didn't you didn't do that and suddenly you just blew up and i was like what <laughs> same, same reaction what <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, good for her. I want to ask you a few more questions about um, what you've made so far. Looking back, is there anything that makes you cringe that you've done? <gasps> Which one? There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I don't like anymore. <laughs> I'm kidding myself already. Okay. Um, I would say like, oh my God. Uh, I guess like I'm not a dancer, okay. Okay. But then I try to dance from time to time. It's not like only the e- only easy dances, you know. I would make fun yeah, of myself. Yeah. So that's like the most cringe. The next one would be like um, transitional videos. It's like you have to be super confident to like look like you're confident. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. Yeah. So you like, have to be confident like, in like, like the, the most makeup. raw version of you. Yeah. yeah. So whenever I do that, I'm just like, oh, this is good. Should I do this? Because people are saying like, kapal mukha, like, ganda ganda yeah, right. surreal and all of that. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, whatever. It's just a transition. Everyone does it on TikTok. So yeah. Yeah. But then mostly those things, dancing and like some of the transition videos. Because, you know, um, so, so, you know, my college, fr- no, no, no. My high school friends, they follow me on TikTok. So, <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to like, I mean, like, obviously they, I've had, I'd, I've never like talked to them in so long. Yeah. So, they would be like, who is that? Is that really Claudette? Like, is that her? Is that, like, yeah. what happened to her? <laughs> so, I'm just like, mm, whatever. It's probably yeah. going to be seen anyway. So, I might as well just post it. How do you feel that like people from high school see it? Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I haven't really talked to anyone <laughs> in like <laughs> high school, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would just like assume that's what they're thinking. <laughs> since I might also think of that if if someone was my in my place right now, someone right, who was right, super right. quiet and everything, I'd be like, "How did she become this?" Like what was yeah. there something i wasn't informed of something like that yeah so i guess they would think that most likely it's like, like a natural question they would ask you know <laughs> themselves like what happened how did that happen like, it's a question so that i had no, yeah I'm, see i mean yeah it's a question i had i was like what so it's very like natural i'm not very um Surprised if that was their reaction towards it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's it. Wait, what did you take in college again? Mathematics, right? Yeah, be a supply and mathematics major in actuarial science. Uh, I didn't really have a choice. Okay. Not in a sense that, I mean, I was, I was allowed to shift. Don't get me wrong. My parents allowed me to shift and everything. But then during my first year, I was just like, I'll just continue this. I don't want to waste You're already there. in college. Yeah, like, yeah. I just, you know, endure the suffering and the pain <laughs> of math. And I'm like, well, I'm not even in high school, right? I'm not even higher math. <laughs> I, mean, I was higher math once. And I I, read, I didn't flunk it, but, like, I just I just passed it. Yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. it. So I'm like, are you sure you're asking myself, is this really it for you? Yeah. Like, 
But then you could do it. Like, what? Yeah. And there, I just continued it because I don't want to waste a year. I don't want to, like, make new friends because I'm really shy now. So I was like, oh, I'm going to make new friends. I have to, like, interact with yes, new people. Yes, start again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I just didn't want the hassle anymore. And it's going to be, like, an additional year. So I was like, I'll just continue, whatever. I don't know what's going to happen to me in the future. I'm more, I'm, I'm more of the go with the flow. I'm not really the, this is my future. It should be like this. Yeah, I don't really have a yeah. timeline for things because obviously you should have a timeline, but I don't stick to it. Yeah, you're not rigid with it. Yeah, so that happened. And yeah, I graduated math with a math course. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's funny that you mentioned higher math because I wasn't thinking about that. But then, yeah, if someone's listening, basically Southville has three levels of math. Um, mm. So if you're in a grade, yeah, there's three different levels and all the sections like mix up into where whatever level they're at. Um, yeah. I, I was the same as you. I was, because I was only there Foundation. for two years. I was only there mm. for two years. But my first year, I was in higher math. Um, I, yeah. I just passed. I just passed. I was like, Whatever the passing grade is, plus one or plus two, that was my score. Yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, because I was from like the second level, like foundation. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Foundation right. math. That was like first year. And then they placed me higher math second year. Mm, I'm like, okay. oh, God, no way. I cannot do this. <laughs> and, and, like, I really couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I was just passing. So, I'm like, Oh well, and then they placed me back to foundation. So I was like, "Yes, I'm back." I was only for I was I only can, there for two years, higher. which is third and fourth year. So yeah, third year I was in higher math, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like I remember when they told me they were like, "Hey, you applied for higher math when I took the entrance exam," and oh, I was oh, like, "Cool." Did? I was like, "Cool, right?" Oh like, my god, yeah. I'm it's smart, higher. right? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds it sounds cool. It sounds smart. Yeah. Um, I get there and like everyone's like grinding out the math and i'm like i thought Who's i was your teacher? good um you still remember miss, miss angeline miss angeline was my fourth year um teacher oh my third year was miss it's in the tip of my tongue i'm so sorry but it's in the tip of my tongue <laughs> okay okay uh, like her face is like in my head right now yeah okay. yeah yeah <laughs> i forgot anyway it's it's not the guy, it's the girl. Uh, higher math. Anyway. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Anyway, so I just passed uh, uh, higher math, and then the next year they were like, "Do you want to go to foundation?" And I was like, at first I was like, mm, "You know, I kind of like the idea of being in higher math. It's a cool idea." Yeah. But when I went to foundation, I was like. Now I feel really smart because they're like, okay, <laughs> top three, uh, blank, yeah. blank, and Trey Ramuli. I was like, yes, I'm top three. <laughs> and I'm like, like this know, is it. Right? I enjoy this so much. And it's it was such a weird feeling because coming from higher math and then <laughs> yeah. like where I barely passed and then I go down to a lower level and I get like 90, 94. Mm. I was like, that's, that's, that's perfectly fine. That is like, that was like, I don't want to be higher. I, I wanted to be moved. <laughs> I literally asked yeah. if I could move and they were like, no, you have to stay there because there's so many students now in ah, foundation. Okay. I'm like, okay, another life of pain and right. suffering. <laughs> but when I moved to foundation, I was just like, this is the It best. was pretty chill. I loved it. I loved like, it. Like the learning was so fun because it wasn't so pressuring and people it weren't competing. Yeah, and I, I, I had a seatmate who was also smart. So I was like, this is cool. Like we get to help each other out. Yeah. Um. And then it wasn't as hard as the year before, and also mm. like the 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 lessons were a lot slower compared to higher. Yes. So I was like, this is nice. I like this one. I'm learning more here than in like the math, pacing so is nice. There. It is. It is. What's your favorite memory of high school? I'm curious. Oh, that's that's a lot. <laughs> huh. Obviously, um. People back then would usually just go to my house and we would like hang out here all the time since my house is really near from Southville. Oh, okay. So there would be moments like every F, like whenever we have a project, we have to do something at home. Like it's a big project. So we would do it at my house and then I would bond with my, with, you know, my classmates, everything. Yeah. 
then before in drums he would he would be here at home like after in drums would be here oh, okay yeah, yeah yeah so it's mostly like the hanging out in in my house mm-hmm. and we would all like every um after christmas parties we would also we bring the food from you know christmas party <laughs> to my house okay and yeah, we'll continue yeah, yeah. like I the party that. here i believe that i believe so, that so i guess that's like the most memorable you know experience in co- in high school yeah cuz i i built a bond with like the a section i mean i knew them they knew me but i wasn't really <laughs> part of them in in grade school yeah like you know, i was only there part for a long, high school long time yeah yeah and like it was it was cool to like be part of their class since they were like really a family now cuz They yeah, were very yeah. like you know close knit and everything. Right. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm part of them. <laughs> <laughs> so there. Yeah. Oh that, yeah, that's an interesting, you know, that's an interesting note because I remember the same things of high school. It's like all the after stuff. It's all the. Mm. I don't know. It, it was fun at the time. Looking back, it's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> but honestly, <laughs> like. It's really fun, and like when I talk to someone from high school, it just feels weird, because um, I'm like, dang, they saw the high school version of me. I didn't like the high school version of me that much, so I'm just like, I'm not that person anymore. Okay. <laughs> they they would have like an image of you, and they're gonna compare you. Exactly. High school and college. Exactly. And then I'm just like, I don't know if it's just me, but then people would be like, I mean, it's fine to judge. It it, it people people are judges basically. It's natural, yeah. Yeah, so like I just don't like it when they be like, "Oh my gosh, she's changed so she that she's <laughs> changed so much." Like yeah. that's not her before. Like she's so whatever, whatever, whatever. I mean, I don't know if they 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 would say that, but then I know some people have said that about me, but not like mm. high school people. Yeah, just yeah. people I know. And then I'm just like, people change. Like they grow from like you can't expect them to be the same people in high school. Oh yeah. <laughs> High, and high school is like, you know what I mean? Like, like everyone's immature face. Hello. Everyone's just trying to find themselves in high school. It's yeah. such a weird like place in life that I look back and I'm like, people's like there are people out there who still think I'm that same person as in high school. Mm. I'm just like, no, like it, life changes you. You know, go to college, work, all that stuff. It just changes so mm. much. Because um, imagine we, we we graduated like six and a half years ago, roughly. I think if my math Damn. is correct. Yeah, um, I feel so old. Right? <laughs> oh my god, right? it's crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's there's a part of me that misses high school. There's a part of me just like n- never again. Like I never want to go through anything like this ever again. Um, mm, that's true. Yeah, but then college was college was okay. Anyway, uh, we'll take a quick break and then we'll be right back. I want to talk about uh, Wavecast Equipment PH for your equipment needs podcasting needs streaming needs like i think brian here is planning on getting a new microphone yeah i'm sorry i i have a name for my mic what, what's the name for your mic natasha Na- it's not natasha or tasha natasha natasha okay okay okay, okay. <laughs> why why natasha But i think i don't know when they <laughs> first opened when they first opened my mic as a podcast i'm like wow this is something i'm gonna name you And the first thing that pops in my head, Natasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. You know what? We actually <laughs> sell that. We actually sell that the fairy, too. Oh. But, there you go. <clears throat> Buy from Kuei Trey. It, it's up to you. Like it's time to upgrade. It's time to upgrade to something new. You know. Yeah. All right. Go check out Wavecast Equipment on Facebook and Wavecast PH on Instagram. That is W A V E C A S T Equipment PH. The wave. For a wave and a cast, you have wave cast. For microphones, mechanical keyboards, sound cards, stream equipment, and mechanical, more. Mechanical keyboards. Yeah, we have the Keytron, Keytron, and oh my. Royal Kludge available on the store. So go check it out, Wave Cast Equipment. All right, we're back with Claudette. What's the name for your dog? My name is. I'm my, my name. <laughs> The name of your dog is her, her name is Chloe. Chloe, oh, Chloe's so cute. I see her on your story. Yeah, she's annoying right now. How old Can is you, she? Like not. 
she's five. Oh, yeah, okay. he's five. Yeah. I have two dogs, five and six years old. So cute. What's they're the they're your dogs. She's a Bichon. So cute. Okay, you stay here because you're so noisy. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Brian, do you have any questions? So. I was wondering, how did you two meet? <laughs> huh? Do you still remember? <laughs> I know it was a long time ago. You guys are like graduated and or. Do you guys still remember? I'm very shy, so it was it was most likely Trey who approached me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it the same um, section? No. No, no, no. No. I, I don't I think, remember like, how we had we mutual friends. Yeah. Me I don't remember first. how we met, but okay, because in high school, like literally, I just walk around and talk to people. Like that's the kind of person yeah. I am. <laughs> like literally, so, I'll just walk and like I see someone doing something, I'll approach that person, ask them what they're doing. Like that, that that's what I did. So it's probably something like that. Yeah, it was him. He approached me first. Most what was your first I'm impression? I'm hundred percent sure. What was your first of- impression of Grey Tray? Oh my god, I don't remember. It's been so long. I mean, <laughs> he's still outgoing. So yeah, that's, yeah. So that's still there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have any. He was, he was, you were with Anna, right? Sino yun? You were always with, it was it Joaquin? Joaquin, yeah. Yeah, so like them, they were a pair like when they were in. <laughs> When they entered Southville. Yeah, that's true. So, also JD. Yeah, yeah. I think I met... No, no, I didn't meet you from JD. I just, no, I don't think so either. Remember. Yeah, so... I, I, no first impression. He was just very, you know, outgoing. Very like, hey. Like, you know, very like, smiley, smiley. <laughs> and like, <laughs> like... Yeah, like that. I don't even remember, like, how we met at all. Like I just remember, yeah, see, I remember you just I existing don't. there. Like you were in the corner, existing, mm. doing your own thing. That's what I remember. That's true. I'm not really like, this is what I'm doing. No, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, this is what I'm doing. That's true. <laughs> Brian, you have any other questions? Um, as of now, none. Okay. Are you ready for the speed round? <gasps> there's a speed round. Yes, there's a speed round. What's it about? <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to ask? Yes. Um, no, it, it's just a bunch of random questions. Answer as honestly as you can and as quickly as you can. If you have a story <gasps> attached to your answer, go for it. Ready? Okay. Oh my God. Wait. Wait. Oh my God. Are simple? you drinking coffee? Yeah, I'm drinking coffee. Uh, I don't drink coffee. Oh, you don't drink coffee? At Why all. Not? Why not? <laughs> I don't like the taste. At all? Yeah. Maybe you've had bad coffee. Not even coffee. like, not even cold brew. Maybe you've had bad coffee. No, I just don't like it. Like, <laughs> no. I love coffee every day, twice a day. Anyway. Um, okay. All right. Let's go to the speed round. Let's start off easy. What are you streaming right now? Oh, what's the name? I'm selling, selling Sunset on Netflix. I have no idea what that is. What is that? Well, it's like um, they they're like brokerage. It's, it's like a reality TV show. Okay. So they're like they broker houses. They sell houses like from like Hollywood, all of that. So it's like very high end houses, and there's like drama and everything. Yeah. You know the tea and all of that. So <laughs> I I watch. I'm watching that right now. Right. You like it? Yeah, it's very nice. It's very addicting to watch. All right. <laughs> What are you listening to right now? Your voice. <laughs> <laughs> what music are you listening to right now? Oh, what's being played? Yeah, I have no. Sp- I don't remember. I think it was Selena Gomez. Um, look at me now. Look at her now. Okay, I yeah. don't know that song. Yeah, but I know Selena Gomez. <gasps> okay, close enough. <laughs> close enough. What music do you usually listen to? Like Selena like Gomez type. Genre. Yeah. It's a lot. It's like mixed. Mostly like R&B. Pop. Okay. 
what's your favorite part about TikTok? Meeting new people. Ah, okay. What's your least favorite part of TikTok? Haters. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's given. That's given already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what would you want to be doing in five years? What is this? Reflection paper in yes. high school? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Traveling the world. Ah. Wow! <laughs> I guess, yeah. What's a misconception like, about you? Oh my god. Um, I guess like show off. Oh, that's interesting. People to say that to you. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm like, it's my job. Like, I have to, I literally have to show things. Mm-hmm. So. What can I do, right? It's like, it, people who say that irrelevant. I, I don't need that energy. That's interesting. What's a product that you endorse now that you didn't really know about before, but you love now? Oh, uh, no. Dito. You know Dito Telecom? Yes. What? A... So I endorsed them. Like oh. I actually did like um, branch openings. Okay. Can you believe that? I did that. Like, what the frick? <laughs> Yeah, oh my yeah. god, I have like quanto about go, that. Go. So like I I was like branch opening. I'm like, people actually want me there. Like what? <laughs> anyway, I went I went there and like obviously they made videos for TikTok and all of that. Mm-hmm. And like they had actually like photographers and whatever. I was I wasn't really expecting for me to be part of like, you know, like the branch whatever manager blah blah mm. employees like taking photos for like the store opening yeah and they placed me on the middle of like the store opening of photo like photo op and i'm like okay me in the middle like are you sure <laughs> I, I was like, Dito po talaga. I was yeah, like yeah, Dito yeah. Po talaga. and then that was like the first branch opening i was like in the middle beside like like the head of like the, the whole Dito like s- brand and then I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh yeah. god! And it was like, it was a good thing we really, like we were wearing face masks because okay. you know right, they right, wouldn't right. see me like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel when then, you're in the middle? I was super shy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so shy because like I literally was there, and then the priest was there beside me, and mm-hmm. I was saying, oh god, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then like one of the heads I'm just like okay we'll just take a picture it's like really quick lang naman mm-hmm. and there so that one I enjoy it since I need like really fast data yeah yeah. for you know social media and all of that right. so I, I yeah, use it every yeah. time I go out of course I didn't know about them I'm so sorry if you hear this <laughs> but then yeah, yeah <laughs> I was yeah. like who's this but then there so I enjoy I enjoy using them. The, the oh, that's interesting. What would you say to somebody who was in your place a few years ago? You're young. You kind of want to be in the influencer life. Um, don't think you can. To somebody like that, who would what would you say to that kind of person? Oh my God, you're gonna make me cry because it's like me talking to like myself like five years ago. Yeah. Five years ago, me or someone who were who was my eh, who was in my position before, I would say that even if like that person or you, I just say, even if you would think that it's pathetic or unreachable, you know, just like you have to keep trying. Mm-hmm. Since I would, I also thought it was unreachable, but there's right. nothing wrong with trying. Nothing's. Um, in Filipino, wala naman mawawala sa'yo if you try, mm-hmm. right? I mean, obviously, if, you know, you spend money and, like, but then if you just want to make videos, there's nothing wrong with trying. Yeah. You shouldn't really care about other people's opinions because it's your life. And it's okay if it's, like, constructive criticism, all of yeah. that. But if it's just, like, those mean comments, like, that's so, like, you don't have to do that. It's ugly. Like, who does that? You shouldn't listen people shouldn't listen to those comments because it's just, it it really like, 
brings your confidence down. Not gonna lie, that that happened to me. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say who who did that, <laughs> but people yeah. who were close to me, they would say, like, "What's that? Like, why are you doing this? You're supposed to be in an office. You're mm-hmm. supposed to be working." Yeah. So, because you know, influencer is like it's not a thing. That's not a real job. Right. That's just yeah. that's just like a hobby. And I'm like, no, it's not. And like, I didn't listen to it. I didn't listen to their opinions. I didn't listen to the those comments. I stopped. I still kept going, even if like they didn't see it. You know, the work life. Mm. They don't see it as work. Right. So I would keep going, and you would actually get to a point where you would realize that um, it's all worth it. All mm. the shutting out of those comments. It's really worth it. So you, you really have to keep trying, even if it seems like nothing's happening. Because yeah. there's gonna be one. There's gonna be a day where you're just gonna, you know, boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's what I would tell myself or the people who were in my place, right, before. How would you want people to describe your videos in ten years? <gasps> Oh my god! I hope not cringy. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Oh my god! Like I would see my. Oh my god! Then you. Huh? Well, now I see myself cringy. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! Oh wait. Um. Wait, what was the question? Sorry, I was like cringing myself. <laughs> How would you want people to describe your videos oh. in ten years? Okay, I think that was like I would say that those videos are like probably the most confident I've ever been in my whole life. So they're like the really confident videos. Mm-hmm. Does that makes yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, so it's like the most confident of me version of me. Right. All right. Last few questions. Um, and do you have any shout outs? Anyone you want to thank for every for anything? Hey Bernice, <laughs> she is my cousin. She's a cousin. Okay. She's the one who pushed me to do TikTok. Uh, See, without nice. you, you I wouldn't be here. Without <laughs> you saying it's not pathetic, I wouldn't be here. How old is she? Uh, she's wait. I'm what twenty two. She's twelve right now. Wow. Right? Thanks, Bernice. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, and she's so amazed by like how far I've come. Oh, for like, sure. You would always. We would always be like, oh my god, I reached like what thirty thousand, and then it would be we wouldn't we don't talk as much anymore because I've been busy and she's also busy mm. in school. So sometimes I would post on my Instagram like, thank you for five hundred k followers like that, right. and then she 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 DM me and say, what you're five hundred k? Wasn't it like hundred thousand yesterday? I said, what? Yeah. So I'm like, I know, right? And like. We were we were joking around. I was like, "What if I reach five hundred thousand?" And then she was like, "Yeah, what then?" And I was like, "That's never gonna happen." And it happened. So I think people should joke more about their future. <laughs> so it's yeah. So it can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that's interesting. All right, uh, Claudette. Again, thank you so much for coming on. Um, your you. your socials are are they all Claudette Ferrer? I only have two. Okay. Oh, I do have YouTube, but like I don't really post there. Okay, okay. But like, just to search Claudette, then I probably pop out. Wow! Oh, have yes. You reached that point already? <laughs> have you reached that point Actually, already? yeah, yeah. Okay. You search me in Google. I think I'm in Google. Wait, I'm gonna search. <laughs> People might say I'm showing off, ah. Huh? <laughs> oh no, no pala. Claudette Ferrer, search Claudette Ferrer, then I'll pop out. <laughs> okay, okay. Claudette Ferrer, um. This is really fun. I enjoyed talking to you again after seven years. Um, I enjoyed making this podcast. I enjoyed it seven years. I hope that people get to know you more, especially those who follow you. Um, So, but if you don't know her, check her out, Claudette Ferrer, Instagram and TikTok. Those are the two main ones, right? Yeah. And your dog is Chloe. So go say hi to Chloe. Hi, Chloe. She's she's KSP right now. So cute. She's just there chilling. All right, uh, Claudette. Any last words? Anything else you want to say before we end? Mm. 
Um, I guess to the people who would always ask me the question of how to be confident, yeah, they always get asked like, how are you so confident? Like, how do you like, you know, wear those outfits out in the Philippines, in Manila, mm. whatever. And like, just don't mind people. That's it. Like, literally, don't give a damn about what people say. That's Especially if they say it like through the internet. Mm. Like, this is what I always say because they always go live on TikTok. Uh-huh. So I always say. Words, the words are words. Say it to my face, and then I'll, it'll actually mean something to me. But okay. people just, you know, there. That's it. <laughs> Interesting. All right, Claudette. Again, thank you so much for coming on. I will. Thank you. I will update you. I'll message you whenever this comes out, uh, which, okay. which will be soon. It'll be pretty soon, honestly. Um, okay. Thank you for being the first. Uh, thank you for letting us be the first podcast that you're on. Yes. It is. Of course, of course. It is super fun, and I love talking to you again. Uh, thank you, Claudette. Check her out Instagram, TikTok, Claudette Ferrer. Um, beauty, makeup, life, clothes, fashion, all that stuff. Check her out. And for more episodes of the White Stripe Podcast, go check out White Stripe PH on Instagram and the White Stripe Podcast on Facebook. And search Spotify, YouTube. It's there. All right, we're done. Thanks, Claudette. Bye.